Alright guys, so a while back I went and fished a, a little lake called Haviland Lake and I threw everything I had at the trout there and they just wouldn't bite much. Then I threw this. I had this in my box, I had bought it at a fly shop and uh, it's, a, it's a really good little fly. As soon as I threw it I caught I think seven trout in a matter of like an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie it for you guys. Some of you had asked me to tie it for you. So I'm gonna give it a shot. The only problem is if you look at that hook. So it's a 6x long but it looks to be maybe 14 or 12. The only 6x long hooks I could find even close to that small are these that are 12. You can see with the bend just a little longer. Same length the uh, shank, but the bend is a little longer. However, it's close enough. The hook I am using is an Umqua TMC 300 in size 12. And the thread is UTC Ultra Thread 70 in black. Start your thread about halfway down the hook shank and bring the thread all the way back to the hook bend. The only forest green bucktail I could find was a bucktail tip but it works just fine for this fly. Trim off some bucktail towards the top of the tail where the hair is less hollow. Then pinch the tip of the hair and pull out the shorter ones. Then align the tips with the other hair. Now cut the hair down a bit to be more manageable in the packer. Put your hair in the packer point down. then pack them to a square. Trim the ends of the hair again to make it more manageable tying into the fly. Now tie the hair in so it is about a third of a hook shank length sticking out the back. then trim the waist at a taper. Clean up any hair that doesn't get trimmed. Prepare a clump of red bucktail in the same way and tie it in so it is the same length as the green. Then tie it down and clean up the tips. And bring your thread back to the bend of the hook. Now tie in some tinsel. Silver, gold, or even this holographic silver will work. Pull out a generous amount of white dubbing. In this case, I am using laser dub because I like the sheen and sparkle. Dub it onto your thread, then start wrapping up the hook shank, trying to keep the taper even all the way up. Now wrap your tinsel up the hook shank, creating a ribbing, and try your best to keep the wraps even. Then capture the tinsel with your thread right behind the hook eye. Now prepare some white bucktail and tie that in, giving yourself a little room behind the hook eye. Then trim off the waist at a taper. The taper is really important as it allows you to create a nice head. Cover the tips of your bucktail with thread wraps. If you need, pull out any hairs that are sticking out. Now prepare some red and green bucktail, but don't pack them just yet. Twist them in your fingers to blend the two colors a bit. Then you can go ahead and pack them. Tie them in about where you tied the white bucktail with just a couple wraps. Then trim off the waist at an angle. Go through and create more of an angle with your scissors. 
This will help you taper the head. Then cover all the materials at the head with your thread. Turn your fly upside down. Prepare some pink bucktail and tie it in so the tips extend out to about the hook point, or just before. And trim off the waist. Build a small head on the fly and make sure to cover all the materials. Now you can whip finish your fly. You could use head cement, but I like using a UV curing resin made by Solarez called Bone Dry. Just paint it on the head and cover all the thread with it. It will create a nice shiny head and is thin enough to penetrate the thread wraps and keep everything in place. Simply zap it with your UV light for a few seconds and it will cure hard without any tackiness. And there we have it, your fly is finished. So as you can see, because it's a longer hook, a larger hook, it is a little bigger of a fly, but that's pretty darn close. Now this uses, utilizes orange. I'm using pink and red. Uh, there is red and green on the tail just like it. However, on the top here it is orange and green versus red and green, but I think that'll turn out all right. Uh, this is supposed to mimic a uh, brook trout. Uh, I think this will mimic a baby uh, um, rainbow with the red and the pink. So I think uh, this will work really well to the same extent. If you do have an uh, um, orange bucktail, then go ahead and use that. It's not a very difficult fly, but you know, having it takes time because of having to pack it, uh, everything to a square just like so. Okay, but relatively easy fly, guys. So I'm going to fish this, see if I, you know, I have really good luck with this streamer, at least the orange one out here. It does really well. Uh, so I'm going to test this and see how it works. As you can see, the fly sinks really slowly, and also quite flat. There's not much tail or head dip. I think this is the reason why it is so effective on that clear water lake. There really isn't much movement to the fly, but apparently the fish don't care because it did work really well. It does have a nice darting motion though, then it can just pause and slowly sink, kind of like a fish fry would. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Also, tell me what you think in the comment section. And all the materials used today are listed in the description section, so check that out. I also want to thank everyone who has started supporting me. Your donations are what keep this channel alive. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.